because, just, just, you know, but, but you know, you know Lord, Lord, let me die. It's so much pain, pain and so ill. So and, you and, you know, know like God, God spoke to me. He was, he was like, you know what, you're not going to get die. You're going to get better. And you're going to help people with the information that you know. Because I've been on my health journey for 30 plus years. So I've worked with top holistic doctors and world-renowned nutritionists. And I learned a lot of things, which I write about in my book about the teaching cleansing. You know, the gut health is very important. So, you know, it was like a big aha. And here I am today because God has put me here. And I keep on my journey because I know people are dying. And they need this information, this information because this information, information is not out there because the CDC, CDC is lying. lying. So, so if, if you Google Lyme disease, disease you'll, you'll find like two to four weeks, weeks antibiotics cured. cured and if you, if you anything, anything else now that you might be suffering, suffering from is post-treatment Lyme, Lyme disease syndrome. syndrome. <laughs> what a <laughs> farce that is. But anyway, anyway so, so people need to have, to have this information, information in, order in order to... to to, to learn, learn. And, and they, they, need, they also need hope, and, and that's, that's a whole big thing, thing. You, know, you know, unfortunately, Western, Western medicine doesn't, doesn't give us that, that hope, and, 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 and what, what they use is toxic, toxic to our body, body. We're, we're not synthetic, synthetic beings, we're organic, and so we, so we can God give them substances, and I got to do that, there's no disease out here that God did not know about, that he hasn't figured out something to help his people, so, you know, there's ozone, oxygen treatments, you know, stem cells, there's all these different things that people can do. Protons, I've just been reading about proton, too. What? what? Protons? Proton? Enzymes. 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 Yeah. 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 Digestive enzymes. enzymes. So many people right. don't know of enzymes. 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 And and that's, that's a big, a big thing, thing that I talk about in my book. book. Unfortunately, Unfortunately, I could I mention Dr. Dr. Lewis enzymes, enzymes because, because they were, they were actually, actually separating, separating his company, company um, because, um, because they have, they have an FDA valid 24-hour hour urine test, test that, that you can actually prove that it works, works that tells, that tells about the, your, your, your entire body, body system, what's going on, on. And, and enzymes are, are the catalyst. Enzymes, enzymes are just as important as oxygen. oxygen. All the All top holistic doctors, doctors, when they, when they treat, treat they do, they do like, like the therapy, therapy, what is that? that? It's, it's juicing, juicing and, and, you know, coffee and, and all of that. that. But, but the juicing, the enzymes, the enzymes, all the, all the organic, organic stuff. stuff. We don't, we don't have, have that now. now. We're, they're they're depleting, depleting our soil. soil. They're, they're depleting, you know, you know nutrition, nutrition from, from our food. food. But, but the, the biggest thing, thing that people don't understand is the enzymes. Enzymes are the catalyst that make everything work. And they also go in as free scavengers because we don't have a immune system. There's different types of enzymes. Cellulose, protease. There's, There's all, all these different, different enzymes, enzymes that we need that can go, go in and, and find, find the damage, damage find, find the bad things, things break, break them down, down eat, them eat them up, and get rid of them. So, so you know, you know, look, look into, into enzymes. enzymes. Dr. Lewis enzymes. enzymes. Lewis <laughs> enzymes. That's so amazing. You know, we were talking about all this. I'm just giving God the glory because he gave me a vision when my son was born and daughter. It was 15 years ago that, Kelly, I've given birth and, and nutrition in that cord cell that's connecting that baby to you so 15 years ago and I still pay one yearly storage fee each year storing their uh-huh. stem cells and I didn't uh-huh. even know he had a heart condition at the time I didn't even know till till he was seven that he had a heart condition so who knows when he does need a surgery if ever but I really feel that God has healed him totally totally and that's in my book hanging by a God thread but the um to store his stem cells so anybody out there that's pregnant anybody knows has that please store the stem cells because god's given that nutrition in that umbilical cord right jennifer the yeah, beauty yeah, that's, that's in there and you can store if you need to find me or message me later where um i have a couple of companies that i know that do that storage cell and you've got to do it obviously at birth and they're cryogenically are stored but that's such a huge huge thing but i was just god is so amazing right i mean just look at what he yeah. did with your life like he said no to you you're going to help millions millions Yep. or more with overcoming this and we're going to do this together guys and and we're going to give jennifer she's going to come and share where we need to connect and what we can do and that sort of thing um i'm gonna i don't know if we should take a little break right now it's a song yeah let's go ahead and take because there's a song i always pray for my listeners um uh yes kelly he is sealed amen lorinda he is uh, that's a whole other testimony but not on this show this is about jennifer and what she's sharing but there's a song i want to share um, you know, actually before we go there, because I have this next thing, I'm just, this is how God, we're giving God the glory right now. And I've got to just follow this thought. Anita Linden. Okay. She is the one that took you to church. A friend of yours took you to church. Right. And who was this person I, I was reading in your book and just God is so amazing how he connects us all. But the person that you talk to later on, that was a, a naturopathic doctor or, or, Tell us about that. Someone um, that now, later on, you went. I'm trying to look for the name of that person. You know what I'm talking about? Dr. Jilling? Richard? Richard? Jilling? 
Yeah. And someone that you met earlier and then later on, they were the one that got you into nutrition. And then later on, like that was your coach or mentor. Oh, oh, I have many, many of them, many, many great, great capitalistic capitalist doctors in my book. <laughs> but so the, I'm I was trying to find out what, because I, 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 I have five capitalistic doctors in my book, so, so I'm trying to figure out which one. one. Well, it was so the one that you no, met, no, one that you met that um, was helping you, and then later on it was the husband or the father or the grandmother or the grandson. Okay, okay, so you're so talking, you're talking all right, so Virginia Easterling, Easterling, she was, she was my, my um, nutritionist, uh, yes. my, my, her, her mom, mom liked me, and then met her son, son who, uh, Dr. Easterling, who clinically, clinically diagnosed, diagnosed me with Lyme disease, disease and, and was, proven was proven to be accurate. Be accurate. Um, um, so, so those, those two, two, so yeah, yeah they're yes. amazing. I, I, I'm so, I'm so blessed, blessed I met Virginia, Virginia um, when, when I was, I was high in high school, school and started, started doing, doing, like, like I mentioned, mentioned getting, getting into, into my health, health journey, um, um, doing, doing coaching and, and so forth, forth exercising, exercising, you know, and, and, and boosting, and boosting my, immune my immune system and so, and so, so forth. So, so she was she a great, was a great um, um, role model, role model and, and, and very, very close, close to me. And then her son, Richard Karen Easterling. Karen is Richard's wife. And they are a godsend to me. You know, I just, I can't. Talk about how, how grateful I am, I am to him and, and how, how he has, he has helped, helped me numerous, numerous times, times uh, and, and saved, saved my, my life. life. And and without, without him, him I, wouldn't I wouldn't be here, be here today. today. We have to find out later on after the show, because Easterling is a, it's not a very common name. And my dear friend, Rhonda, the one that I told you, her grandson has the autism. Easterling is a, a dear person to them. Uh, they, and I want to see if it's the same Easterling family. Um, We'll have to talk about that, but okay, I'm going to put this song on and it's called We Are the Messengers and I'm just going to play this. We'll take a three minute break because um, it's called Point to You and everything that you say, and that's what the show is about, is pointing to God, giving him the glory that everything that he does in our life, because he tells us he goes before us, he goes before us and he truly does. And your life is such a testimony, a testament to this, Jennifer, and I hope you enjoy the song and everybody on here. And we'll come back in three minutes. Yeah, so- 
song that God gave me for you. I always pray before the show. Are you still there, Jennifer? You hear me okay? Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Can you hear me, <laughs> Jennifer? Hear you. Yes. Hello? Uh-oh. Are you there? I'm here. I'm here. Okay. So, guys, if you're listening, that was um, messengers, and I feel we are messengers, Jennifer. Are we not? We're to get the word out there to help others, and that's why God still has us on this earth. And no matter the bruises and the scars, no matter what we've been through, he has given you a miracle. I'm sure each one of us um, has something to testify, and, you know, healing and a revelation and taking us just as we are. I hope that song blessed you and whoever um, else is listening. Um, had you ever heard that song before? No, no, I didn't. I had mentioned that it was Lord. Lord. Oh, I'm, I'm echoing. echoing. Say that again. It's, it's echoing. echoing. Oh, um, I'm echoing with you. I hear, I hear me echoing. echoing. I, you're not echoing on this end. All right, good. I don't, good. I don't know okay. what to do. I didn't touch anything. But anyway, guys, we're joined here today with Jennifer Heath. She's an overcomer of overcoming in the process, right? We all have something we're overcoming. We don't say we're overcomer because there's God's always working in us, right? Jennifer, overcoming Lyme disease. So we mentioned, um, you know, I Lyme disease, it has to do with the immune system. We've talked a lot about that. Um and shutting down of immune system. Can you share with us what are what are some of the symptoms for those of us that don't know of Lyme disease? What are what are some of the things that that um, describe what Lyme disease is? Well, well if, you've if you've been, been diagnosed, diagnosed with, with MS, MS, you better, better uh, uh, second, second guess, guess your doctor. Your doctor. You're more, you're than, more likely than likely have Lyme disease. disease. Um, um, it mimics over, over 350 different, different diseases. So, so cancer, cancer non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, lymphoma, which it causes. causes. If, if, you if you have that, that you probably could have Lyme disease. disease. Um, um, they, better they better look into the fungal, the fungal uh, component, component of your, of your disease. disease. Um, so so ALS, ALS, Parkinson's, dementia, dementia Alzheimer's, Alzheimer's, chronic fatigue syndrome, syndrome fibromyalgia, lupus, all of those things are usually have a lot to do with Lyme disease. So, so, it, so, so flu-like like symptoms, symptoms at first, first and, and sometimes, sometimes you could have, have it, you don't know, it depends on your immune system, system. it depends on, um, um, you know, your, your environment, environment and so, so forth. So you can, you can be, uh, uh, not, not really have many symptoms, symptoms and then all, all of a sudden, sudden boom, boom, you get, get really sick. sick. So, so some people, people get sick right away, some people, it's an onslaught of symptoms. Um, you know, you know fatigue, fatigue, chronic, chronic fatigue, fatigue syndrome, syndrome um, headaches, headaches, migraines, migraines flu-like flu symptoms, achy bones, bones arthritis. arthritis. Those, Those are, are some of the early symptoms, 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 and then, and then you get, get into, into the neurological thing, thing, you know, with, like, like MS and, and all, all the other, other stuff that, that affects you neurologically. Like, like I was bedridden, I, I could hardly walk, walk and, and, you know, you know like major, major nerve pain, pain and everywhere. everywhere. So, so, and I have brain fog, you can't think. Hot syndrome, Hot syndrome, like, like you, know, you know, your heart, heart races, races when you're, when you're laying down, you stand, stand up, and it just totally drops. drops and, and, you know, I had that. that. So it, it, there's, there's so many different, different things, and then there's the like co-infection. So, so I, my co-infection is with BCF, yeah, lives in the red, red blood cells, 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 and it's, and it's almost in all of our blood supply. So just so you know, they don't check it. They don't check the Lyme disease either. So if you are getting a transfusion, you, you could, could more than, than likely be getting, getting the disease, disease FYI. FYI. So, so, um, so Babesia, Babesia is like, like night sweats. Night sweats um, um, uh, it, has it has many, many, many different, different uh, things. things I, I talk about in my book. I'm having a brain, brain fog right, right now, now just telling you about, about this. this. Okay. But chills, chills, own chills, own chills um, um, heart, heart, heart type breathing, and, and so when, so when I, the I last time, time the last emergency visit that I made to the U of M, they said that they thought I had a Emphysema. They, they thought, thought, you know, and I, said, said, and I, and I just now, now, like the day before, before started not being able to breathe, breathe right. right. So, so I'm like, no, no nobody's diagnosed me with that. that. But yeah, they, they would not diagnose or treat me for Lyme disease, disease in the ER. ER. So, so that, that happens, happens everywhere. everywhere. If, you if you mention Lyme, Lyme disease in the ER, good luck. Good luck. They're going to get psyched. Jeez. Jennifer, what, um, so 
I'm, I'm thinking, but let our listeners know, how does one determine Lyme disease? 